would like to be an honor to God, who's the head of our life, to Superintendent Dr. Avis Williams and board members for a phenomenal job in the district of Selma City Schools, to our principal, Cicely Curtis, and her dedication to the scholars at R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy, to Dr. Valerie Ashman Lewis and her dedication to excellence, to the faculty and staff for working diligently on and off the clock to ensure our scholars a quality education. And last but certainly not least, the class of 2025. I'm Coach Kendrick L. Office, the physical education teacher and head football coach here at R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy. And I am Sister Abayomi Goodall. I am the African dance history and cultural teacher here at R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy. And we we'd like, like to welcome you to, to the, the promotion 2021 promotional ceremony of the class of uh, 2025. First, we will have the promotional blessing by the Honorable Mayor Perkins. Well, good morning and greetings to you, Principal. Curtis and staff and faculty of R.B. Hudson Middle School, uh, the parents, the family members of the graduates and to the, especially to the graduates, I want to greet you uh, this morning uh, and just say how proud I am of you graduates that you are moving forward uh, in uh, your education experience. It was my hope that, um, uh, that we could actually be live, I could be there with you uh, to assist and to be a part of the celebration personally, but circumstances did not allow that to happen. And so those, uh, those circumstances are real, but I will tell you this, those same circumstances did not stop you from graduating. Those same circumstances did not stop you from commencing and going forward into the next phase of your life. And so I wanna talk to you very briefly about how you feel right now. There are a lot of different feelings and emotions that we have right now. I know I do, and I suspect that you do too. Uh, with all of the violence that's going on around us uh, and the, the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, uh, what was normal is no longer normal for us now. Um, um, the no snitch rule out there that you can't tell or you can't say the fear of retaliation you have you have every right if you have every right right now to feel uh the way you feel and i will tell you this don't miss this don't miss this no one can actually tell you how you feel no one can tell you how you feel that is the one thing that only you can describe, only you can say how you feel. You're the only person who can describe that. However, since I have graduated before, since I have been young before and I've moved from middle school to high school uh, and I have been experiencing the same things that you have been experiencing over this past year, I have some idea about how you feel. And so let's just examine what I think, what I believe, how, what I think uh, you feel, you feel like right now, I suspect that there are feelings of uh, fear, uh, fear of, uh, some may have uh, uh, feelings of uh, uh, fear of success and others may have uh, feelings of fear of failure. You may feel that you may, you go into the next level and and uh, some are afraid that now that you've been successful, now that you, you know, you now have a different level of responsibility, you got to go to the next phase. So you may have this fear of success. Others may have a fear of failure, feeling that you may not be prepared yet to go to the next level. I get it. I understand that some may even have feelings of anxiety uh, and frustration on edge because of the uncertainties uh, that are before you. And then there are others who have great feelings of excitement and you're excited about moving forward. Just as no one can tell you 
how you feel. No one can actually force you to change how you feel. No one can do that. No one can force you to change how you feel. But can I suggest something to you? I, I, I suggest, um, um, I can suggest uh, that you feel a different way if you are anxious or you have fear, anxiety, if you have those feelings, I can suggest that you feel a different way. Uh, your coaches, we can, coaches can coach you to feel a different way about your performance. Teachers can teach you approaches that can help you feel a certain way, a different way, but no one can tell you how you feel and no one else can change how you feel. Only you can do that. And so what do you do with these feelings? How do you move forward? How do you move past how you feel in this season and so i decided that there was something that i needed to say to you that was very real very concrete very very exact i decided to just let you know uh, that there is one thing that you can do you can decide who you trust in, in order to, to to get a handle on your feelings i suggest you who you trust and I suggest that you trust God see uh, uh, God says he says something to us about uh, about how we live everything that we need to know about life and how to move forward in life God has some some suggestions for us uh, in his word and, and one of the things he says to us is to study to show thyself approved study to show yourself approved. And then, and then he says, so that when you do work, you won't be ashamed of your work because you have rightly interpreted, you have rightly understood his suggestions on how you should move forward. And so I suggest to you that you trust God. Do you trust God? And that, that's important. And then I, I also want to suggest to you, I want to suggest that as you move forward, compare, compare what God says to you, what God says to us about what we should do. Compare that to what other people say and suggest that you do. And when you make that comparison, if it's different, if God is saying do something and somebody else is telling you to do something different than what he says, then I suggest you really need to question whether the advice you're getting is correct. Compare what God says to what everyone else is saying. And if you want to know whether you can trust what someone else says to you, then compare it to what God says. Then I also have something else I suggest that you remember. I want you to remember uh, that as you move forward, there are people who do not trust God. And, 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 and if a person does not trust God, that means that they don't, they won't obey him because they don't trust his word. And when you run into situations like that, I suggest you move away from those individuals. So when you run into people and, and, and uh, they're saying something that you feel is different than what God suggests that you do in your life, then I, I suggest you move away from them. And finally, I got another, I got a nugget for, I got another piece of advice or counsel for you, suggestion for you. And I say uh, that God also says that that the fear of him, that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And now that, that may seem a little complicated to you because I know a lot of times we say, I don't fear anybody, I don't fear anything. Well, I, I suggest to you that you need to fear God and nothing else. Because see, when you fear him, that's the beginning of being wise. That's the beginning of understanding how to use what he says to us. 
And, and if someone tells you they fear no one, they don't fear God, then I suggest to you that person needs to be left out of your life. So there's two nuggets. There are two things, two suggestions I have for you as you prepare to move forward. One is surround yourself with people who trust God. And the second would be to surround yourself with people who fear God. And if those, if you have people in your life who are not doing either, suggest to them that they should. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, those are keys to the next level of success in your life. You're gonna have a lot more responsibility now as you move forward. As you go into the high school, things are gonna change. There's gonna be some differences. There are some things that you may fear, but I say, don't fear them, fear God. And trust him and allow him to lead you and direct you in that path of newness. And when you do, You'll be able to select the friends that need to be with you. You'll be able to understand what people say to you and suggest to you. You will be able to actually make good decisions in your own life. And so now I say congratulations to you. I say I celebrate your, your success. And I hope that as you move forward, that your future will be extremely bright, even better than your past has been. And for all of the success you've experienced thus far and all of the challenges that you have overcome, I say to God be the glory. Thank you, Principal Curtis, for the invitation and the opportunity to address the students in this season. And thank you, Honorable Mayor Perkins, for that promotional blessing. Moving forward, we're now going to have our Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. Micah Thomas. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Micah. Next, we will have our mission by Ja'Kayla Hatcher, who's our fifth-ranked scholar here at R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy. Good morning. My name is Ja'Kayla Hatcher, and I'll be presenting the R.B. Hudson mission statement. The mission of R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy is to produce world changes by providing innovative learning opportunities to include parental and community partnerships through science, technology, engineering, arts, and math in a safe, nurturing environment. And now our vision statement will be brought to us by Mr. Chikavion Canty. He is our fourth ranked scholar here at R.B. Hudson. Good morning. My name is Chikavion Canty. I'll be reading the vision statement of R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy. The vision of R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy is to develop scholars critical thinking skills through rigorous and relevant content or to maximize their potential in a global society. Thank you, Shakibian. Now we will have the song Hero performed by Michael Thomas, who is our former Army Hudson STEAM Academy student. <laughs> Don't have to be afraid of what you want. There's an answer if you reach inside your soul, and the sorrow that you know will melt away. And then a hero comes along. 
with the strength to carry on And you cast your fears aside And you know you can survive So when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies with you. It's a long road. You face the world alone. No one reaching out a hand for you to hold. You can find love. Search within yourself, and the emptiness you feel will disappear. And then I hear a call alone with the strength to carry on, and you cast your fears aside, and you know you can survive. So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong, and you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies with you. And oh, Lord knows that dreams are hard to follow. But don't let anyone Tell them away And hold on There will be a tomorrow In time You'll find a way And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on And you cast your fears aside And you know you can't survive So when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you'll finally see the truth That a hero lies with you that a hero lies in you. That a hero lies in you. Thank you, Micah. It hasn't been an easy year. Few like this come along. When you stepped up and you showed us that you were team strong. Tough times call for extraordinary scholar. And like a champion, you made it through. Now you are ready to impress the world with all the amazing things that you do. Go Bulldog. Now we will have our Bulldog Creed and our address to the class by our own valedictorian, Miss Sydney Pritchett. Good morning. I am Sydney Pritchett and I will be giving you guys the Bulldog Creed. I am a Hudson Bulldog. I'll be prepared for class and ready to learn each day. Understand that I must treat others the way I desire to be treated. Learn to follow directions and cooperate with others. Learn to always do my best. Dare to dream, own up to my responsibilities, give respect to people, especially myself and property, because success starts with me. Good morning to Dr. Williams, Mrs. Curtis, Dr. Lewis, teachers, staff, family, friends, and class of 2025. I am Sydney Pritchett. I'm humbled to give our graduation speech as well as be an R.B. Hudson Bulldog. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for all my blessings and my wonderful parents who mean the world to me and who have always been by my side supporting me. 
I remember my initial fear of starting R.B. Hudson were because of the things I heard about our school. But after making memories, building bonds with my teachers, and learning something new every day, I realized that this school was going to be memorable, not just for me, but for my peers as well. Unlike last school year, where we spent majority of the year in person, this school year has been one of the most challenging yet rewarding school years. During the end of our seventh grade year, we were faced with the unthinkable, a pandemic. Let me ask you a question. When faced with a crisis, what do you do? Do you, one, let it define you, two, let it destroy you, or three, let it strengthen you? We, the class of 2025, were strengthened by it. The pandemic has taught us many things. I remember looking forward to coming back to school to see my teachers and peers in person. However, due to COVID-19, all of that was changed. We've had to make many adjustments to our lives, but we didn't let the pandemic destroy our spirits and talents. It simply diverted them into new pursuits. We've learned to work alone, work together virtually, and how to manage our time wisely. Yes, it's true we depended on Wi-Fi like we depend on water, but not once did we think we would be destroyed by this, and we weren't. Even though becoming virtual students was demanded and required us to change everything we knew in the blink of an eye, we had dedicated teachers and a dedicated principal that helped us through every step of the way. Even with the changes made to this school year, our middle school journey was definitely an exciting roller coaster. And that's coming from someone who's afraid of roller coasters. During quarantine, we have learned more about ourselves. We've learned to become more caring and love one another. But the most important thing we've learned as a result of quarantine is how to appreciate the little things in life. Every day was a chance to learn something new. I know that throughout the rest of the journey, we'll persevere and come out stronger and on top each time. As we transition to high school, we look forward to the academic challenges and greater personal responsibilities we'll face. Although our ceremony was changed due to the recent shootings in our community, I do believe we will overcome the violence just as we are overcoming the pandemic. We must all pray for a better community and resolve the issues we are facing. We, the class of 2025, are the future. Again, I am Sydney Pritchett, class of 2025's eighth grade valedictorian, signing off. Awesome message by our valedictorian. Is definitely going places. Next, we will have the introduction of the speaker by Sherry Jackson, who's our seventh grade science teacher. Great morning, RB Hudson STEM Academy um, family. Um, before I get started on introducing our guest speaker, I would like to first of all say to the class of 2025 that I am very proud of you and I'm excited for you. You pushed, you pulled, and you pressed. And we are very excited to have had you group of students um, to, give us, to give us a run for our money, to give us um, something to push and look forward to. So thank you for that. Um, and it has been an honor to be asked to uh, introduce Alexis Perry. Um, a couple of things about Alexis is she's the daughter of Kirsten and well, Dexter and Kirsten Watkins and Dante King. Um, she's a former Hudson student and a former member of the Hudson's robotics program. Um, she's a tip grader at Selma High School and she is now the owner of Nay's Training Tricks. Alexis, we're proud of you. Um, we're, we're behind you 100% and we support you and we're looking forward to all your endeavors and it has been an honor again to introduce you. Good morning, everyone. I'm not gonna take long at all. When Ms. Curtis asked me to speak today, I didn't hesitate to say yes, not knowing what to say, how to say it, or where to even begin. What could I say to scholars who are just a grade under me? A few being the same age as me, depending on the time of the year. Well, I began to think, what are some things I wish people would have told me after leaving the eighth grade besides, these years are gonna fly past you. Keep your grades up or even these are gonna be the best or the worst years of your life. I can only tell you what I've learned so far and that is stay out of trouble and do your best. I know that may seem easy, but you'll have many unexpected challenges. Mine may be different from yours, but here is some advice you should keep in mind as you enter and continue through your high school adventure. Number one, someone's opinion of you doesn't have to become your reality. You're a statistic. It's up to you to make it a positive one. Number two, always look for the positive. 
the energy you give out will be the energy that you receive back. So always be positive. Number three, and this is my last point. Nothing worth having will come easy. So work hard and it'll pay off. Congratulations, class of 2025. Get involved, be positive, and we'll see you at the finish line. Awesome, awesome, Alexis. And I hope you scholars heard those three points that she made. Very valid. Thank you again to our guest speaker, Alexis Perry. Now we are at the very important part of our program. It is time for the presentation of our promotional certificates by the RBH teachers. Good morning, scholars and parents. My name is Bridget King, eighth grade math teacher here at Ivy Cousin Stevie Hill. I would just like to say it has been an honor and a pleasure to teach you guys this year to bond with you and get to know you. Um, I look forward to seeing you four years from now when you graduate from high school. Um, Principal Curtis, I present to you the candidates for promotion from eighth grade to ninth grade. Sanaya Austin. Cornelius Benjamin, Shakeni McKenzie, Dario Coleman, Danielle Evans, Jason Hunter, Eric Jones, Rodney Martin Jr., Latera Kamal. Jackira Oliver, Jeremy Sanders, Cornelia Smith, Jacob Sturgeon, Jaquan Woods, Ava Bell Hansberry, Tristan Block, Shelby Brown, Tajanae Brown, Shanice Deloach, Mackenzie Prison, Makila Giles, Jemaya Irby, Tariqa Jackson, Lexi Lewis, Halima Lockley, Javarius Marks, Jaleria Moore, David Smith, Andrea White, Greetings, scholars and parents. I am Mr. Calvin Martin. I'm a eighth grade history teacher. I would like to say to you, um, I'm glad to mention that it's definitely been a tough time, but we have persevered and pushed through to get to this outstanding moment. Um, Principal Curtis, I present you the candidates of promotion from 8th grade to 9th grade. Tamara Garnier, Janaya Benjamin. Samuel Catlin, Tremaine Coleman Jr., Ariana Davis, Jesse Woodward, Sanayo Jobs, Robin Jones, Daniel Johnson, Jordan Lamar. Victoria Lee, Prison Mall, Michaela Monroe, Jada Moss, Aubrey Sefford Woods, 
Aaliyah Smoot, Brandon Strouder, Denise A. Sullivan, Jalen Williams, Samkiria Bethel, Latrell Brown, Carlos Carter, Jaleel Carter, Precious Davis, Kendarius Holiday, Kiana Jackson, Kendrick Johnson, Sharice McDowell, Tamisha Mitchell, Tyrese Sutter, Deja Watts, and Jada Will. Congratulations, guys. Greetings, scholars and parents. I'm Mr. McClanco. I'm the eighth grade world history teacher here at Arby Hudson. Um, I just want to say to y'all, I appreciate y'all for being the first group of scholars that were taught in my life. Um, a lot of y'all was hoping that it was for life, and so hopefully later on in the future, we will know that when you all become successful, I'll be better than high school. Crystal Perez, I will now present to you the candidates that will promote from the eighth grade to the ninth grade. Jerry Barnes. Dakota Bedwell, Rachel Curtis, Sakai Elvis, Azali Fortier, Marquisia Howard, Jaquela Johnson, Jalicia Mason, J.N. Olds, Sydney Pritchett, Emily Pullen, Messiah Shanks, Jayon Smelly, Tashana Thomas, Jacoby Tool, Jarissa Washington, Anthony Williams, Jacoby Wright, Kelvin Bender, Sakai Bowen, Jabari Brown, Zaria Brown, Kyra Carter, Diamond Craig, Amaya Davis, Sean Davis, Kyla Green, Ben Javon Holmes, Kevin Kimbrough, Lanala Levins, Sojonio, Sojonia Moye, Caleb Marford, Marquavia Sellers, Soraya Shelton, Fadrika Smith, Shamari Stephan, Tiaja Strong, Kendarius White, and Kashari Wilson. Congratulations to you all. See you all in the future. Greetings, scholars and parents. I'm Ms. Karamis, collaborative teacher at R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy. It has been said, the most successful people see adversity not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to greatness. Each year comes with its own set of challenges. This group of scholars has persevered and completed great level requirements, despite facing various obstacles. Scholars, I'd like to encourage you to continue to strive for excellence in all that you do. Ms. Curtis, Principal Curtis, I present to you candidates for promotion from 8th grade to 9th grade. Kentarius Brunson, and Austin Howard. Congratulations, scholars.
Greetings, scholars and parents. I am Jacqueline Peoples, physical science instructor at R.B. Hudson State Academy. To my scholars, it has truly been a pleasure having you in my classes, both virtual and face-to-face. -face. I am very proud of you and congratulations on completing this episode in your journey into success. Principal Curtis, I present to you candidates for promotion from eighth grade to ninth grade, and they are as follows. Trevion Eaton, Janaya Kelly, Janila Lloyd, Jalen Marshall, Mariana Marshall, Taekwon Moore, Cambrian Parks, Jaquela Rozelle, Kishe Savage, Tyrone Shepard, Albert Smiley, Jasmine Strong, Jaquela Watts, Amari Williams, Kalia Benjamin, Zoe Edwards, Kiwan Evans, Jasmine Fails, Adrian Hardy, Jaquela Hatcher, Cameron McMillan, Marquarius Murphy, Byron Oliver, Tosh Small, Rodney Thomas, Kentarius Webster, Kentravius White. Congratulations, and it has truly been a pleasure. Good morning, scholars and parents. I am Coach Derek Randolph, eighth grade mathematics teacher here at R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy. To my scholars, I thank you for being an awesome group. I know that it was, wasn't an easy year. However, you have made it. I want you to never, always to remember to never give up on your dreams Always persevere through any obstacle that may come through your life. Principal Curtis, I present to you candidates for promotion for eighth grade to ninth grade. John Quarius Bradley, Jamie Brown, Kevin Brown. Kayvon Calhoun, Caleb Carter, Mariana Drummer, Jayla Jones, Rishaya McReynolds, Kevin Pope, Brianna Shields, Ayana Smith, Tasha Tompkins, Carla Webster, Jakaya Young, Tommy Belcher, 
Janasia Brinson, Deja Carmichael, Kelly Davis Lawson, Deshaun Flanagan, Kreshire Furlow, Shandarius Hardy, Justavia Harris, Tarashawn Harris, Jeremiah McGarry, Brendarius Smith, Jerron Stallworth, John Quarries Watts, Madison Williams. Congratulations, scholars. We love you. Good morning, parents and scholars. Melinda Simpson, eighth grade English language art instructed here at R.B. Hudson State Academy. I had a wonderful year with my scholars this year. Thank you guys for your attentiveness and your attendance. Principal Curtis, I present to you these scholars of these candidates for promotion from the eighth grade to the ninth grade. Malik Bell, Jalen Brown, Jasmine Cleveland, Asia Whitten, Nikia Davis, Braden Beth, Shatavia Hyde, Jalen John, Octavia Garland, Tremaine Mitchell. Kaziah Moore, Kiana Holder, Madison Smith, Rashawn Sullivan, Ariana Thomas, Cody Brown, Ladarian Brown, Xavier Craig. Latrell Dean, Tiberius Fuller, Jakara Jackson, Alonzia Rose John, Terrence Miles Jr., Melinda O, Terion O, Cynthia Reese. Marion Rush, Martinique Sherman, Brianna Sturdivant, Mazavion Well, Darion Wilson, Sonia Wilson. Congratulations, scholars. Principal Curtis, I present you the candidates for promotion from 8th grade to 9th grade. Sequoia Crenshaw, Crystal Griffin, Jeffrey Harris, Jakiah Hayes, Jakiria Hayes, Andrea Houston, 
Alir Martin, Akaya Martin, Jaden Martin, Ryan Reese, Roosevelt Sanders, Jayshon Smith, Rashad Thomas, Ramir Thompson, Tristan Wall, Kamaya Bell, Charity Cleveland, Dennis Gamble, Madison Guthridge, Jalen Jackson, Renaya Phillips, Zaitarius Reed, Javier Reeves, Jamonte Robinson, Adrian Simmons, Ariana Smith, Cameron Smith, Jalen Stoller, Jalen Strong, Tashavius York. Congratulations, scholars. Congratulations again to the class of 2025. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments. Continue to work hard and follow your dreams. Now, we will have the closing remarks by our very own principal, Cicely Curtis, and Vice Principal, Dr. Valerie Ashby Lewis. Good morning, scholars. The day that you all have anticipated is finally here and you are no longer eighth graders, but rising ninth graders. I must admit that today is somewhat bittersweet because you are the first and only class that Mrs. Curtis and I have for three years. We were with you during your sixth grade year at the School of Discovery. We welcome you as you enter the seventh grade here at R.B. Hudson. And now we are proudly watching as you transition from Hudson into your freshman year of high school. The very fact that you successfully completed your middle school education during the midst of a global pandemic is a testament to your strength, your determination, and your resiliency. It is my prayer that you operate in your purpose, that you make wise decisions, even if you are the only one who is doing so, and that you never forget all the positive things that have been poured into you throughout the years. We love you. We look forward to hearing and seeing, seeing all of the great things that you will accomplish. And we are proud to say that the quarantine did not stop your steam. Congratulations, scholars. Well, thank you, Dr. Lewis. Thank you to our scholars. Thank you to our parents. Thank you to our amazing teachers also known or better known as our world changers. Thank you to our superintendent, fearless Dr. Williams, to our school board members, all of our partners in education and our stakeholders. We appreciate everything you have done to contribute to our success here at R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy. We want to also thank each of you for your commitment to excellence. Thank you for being flexible through so many changes throughout this year. We were in the building, out of the building, in the building, out of the building again. Many of us have been together since sixth grade as Dr. Lewis stated. We cannot forget that. In sixth grade, things were normal and we were able to have what we call a traditional promotional ceremony. I, like all of you, miss those days so much. Do I think you deserve a ceremony that would have afforded you the opportunity to walk across the stage? Yes. But the truth is that we, were, we are in different times, scholars, where human life seems to no longer be valued. Why do you say that, Ms. Curtis? I'm glad you asked. Shooting scholars and families are occurring in the broad daylight with innocent bystanders losing their lives. 
In fact, our teachers were on campus preparing for your outdoor ceremony that was planned. And all of a sudden, not long after you had been dismissed from school, gunshots were fired and individuals were seen shooting back and forth at one another. I can understand the heart, the concern of grieving parents who have lost their children in gunfire to shootings, senseless shootings, some intentional and some innocent bystanders. This scholars that occurred while our teachers were here on campus was another broad daylight shooting. As a result, and rightfully so, the overwhelming majority of our parents were concerned. And here we are celebrating you all virtually. Can you do something for me? Understand that something is better than nothing. Embrace this moment and find the positive. As your principal, if your safety is compromised, we must shift gears. I must shift gears. Was this a hard decision to make? Absolutely. But we were not willing to sacrifice your life scholars and, the, and safety for a celebration. So I say to you again, here we are virtually. Embrace the moment. We were not to, we were not to, we were not going to sacrifice your life and safety for a celebration and not at the cost, definitely not at the cost of this a cell, a traditional celebration at the cost of your life, scholars. Having said all of that, we want you to know that we know it has not been easy. We've been in hard places. This has been a pandemic. There has been violence. There have been shootings. But through it all, scholars, you have exemplified strength. You've exemplified resilience. You are the STEAM team strong. These tough times showed us that in this season, you are extraordinary because this season required that of all of us. You scholars are the real champions. Parents, you are the real champions. Together, we all win. Teachers, faculty and staff of R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy, you are the real champions. As Michael sang earlier, you are heroes. And we thank you. Now, scholars, as you transition from eighth to ninth grade, starting your high school years, we want you to remember the words of our guest speaker, Alexis Perry. Be positive, get involved. Remember, you're gonna be faced with many challenges. Many obstacles are gonna present themselves before you, but you are prepared. You have what it takes to make the right decisions. We're looking forward to seeing the amazing things that you're gonna do, scholars. And again, we thank all of our parents, all of our stakeholders. We could not have done this without each and every one of you. So at this time, by the authority that has been vested in me, I think the time that we've all been waiting for, I wish I could have a drum roll. I present to you ninth grade scholars. You have been promoted from eighth grade to ninth grade scholars. Congratulations. We love you and we appreciate you. Go and be awesome. You won't hear Miss Curtis say, walk to the right of the hall. Walk with a sense of urgency. Walk with purpose, scholars. But I hope you remember those very words. And I hope and I know that you're going to do great things. You are our future leaders. Thank you.
scholars that was dedicated to you all. Again, we've been together since sixth grade at School of Discovery. And I want to say on behalf of our faculty and staff, we deeply apologize for not being able to celebrate in person. And we hope you enjoyed the virtual ceremony. Before we end, and congratulations to all of you, we're super excited. Before we end, I want to thank our MCs for today. I'm gonna to bring them back to the stream with me. Um, and I also want to thank, uh, we have Ms. Summers, who I'm gonna bring in the stream and Dr. Lewis. And scholars, I think you guys would want to know this and also send well wishes to these individuals. So I'm gonna bring all of them to the stream before we end your promotional ceremony. And this is a bit very bittersweet moment for all of us scholars because you've been with us, we've been together so long and you guys are transitioning to another chapter of your lives, which we know will be awesome. But not only you, but we have uh, these amazing world changers. I wanna thank Sister Yomi and Coach Office for MCN and doing such an amazing job. And we thought it was befitting for them to do so because all three of them, Ms. Summers, who's been backstage uh, controlling your certificates, she will be transitioning, Coach Office and Sister Yomi, they will all be transitioning and leaving us um, after this year, but going to do bigger, greater, and better things and we want to say that we appreciate everything you all have done, uh, world changers. You are truly world changers. And we are going to miss your talents, your gifts, your smiles, your words of affirmation, and more than anything, your presence and your commitment to excellence and putting our scholars first. You've done just that and you have made an impact here at R.B. Hudson in, in the city of Selma, and we thank you so much. <laughs> Any words, Dr. Lewis? Well, <clears throat> Ms. Curtis said, it's like a, a portion of us leaving, and we're gonna certainly miss you all. You all have each individual strengths, um, and, we're just gonna miss you. But we do know that where you're going, that you will serve a great purpose. We know that all of your talents and skills will be used elsewhere and that you're gonna be a blessing wherever you go because you have certainly blessed us here. We love you all and we just pray continued success and blessings for you. And we know, we know that working at Barbie Hudson and in Team Selma, you're prepared. You can go anywhere and you will do great things because you have been prepared. At this time, any words, uh, Ms. Summers, and then we'll go to Sister Yomi and Coach Office. Absolutely. I just wanted to thank all of the eighth graders who are now ninth graders. Um, you were my first class when I came to Selma um, and I got to see most of you again in your eighth grade year because I taught you both in seventh and eighth grade. You have been wonderful to me and hopefully I taught you a little bit of something about life and a little bit of something about science that you can keep with you and use. Um, thank you, Principal Curtis and Dr. Lewis for everything you guys have done. I'm gonna miss you, bittersweet moments, um, but I wish everybody the best in the future. Good luck Miss Summers where you're going. Good luck to you coach where you're going. God bless us all. I don't want to get emotional, but it has been a absolute blessing to be able to work with your scholars and work with the families here in the city of Selma. To be able to just to plant a seed about our history and our culture, who we are as a people. I, I, I pray that I am able to continue to work with us virtually from where I am going. I am going home to the motherland. I am going back to Africa. And I hope to have you join me on a cultural and educational excursion and a tour uh, by the time you reach, say, 10th grade. We gotta let you get settled in that, that first year, that ninth grade year, or maybe even your 11th grade. We'll be in contact. But it has been more than an honor and a pleasure to be able to serve you. God bless you. Keep striving for excellence and keep representing who we are. 
We are God's chosen people. Thank you. <sighs> when God um, designed Coach Office, I think the word first was a word that he wanted to attach along with. And it didn't change when I came here to RBS Steam Academy. Ms. Curtis, she gave me my first opportunity as a head football coach. And we exceeded in style and fashion. And I'm a coach. And sometimes that means that I'm a psychiatrist, I'm a father, I'm a big brother. And I drive an hour and 25 minutes to sell them every day with one goal, and that's to save a life. That goal still goes on. To each one of you scholars, I've walked that step in your footsteps. I haven't always been coached, but I'm gonna tell you this, if you put God first, you will overcome. It's nothing that he won't and can't do. All you have to do is just acknowledge him. I'm praying for you. I love you. I know it's hard to be a coach because I'm a man of accountability. But I love each and every last one. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Arby Hudson.